Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Edoblocks. In this video, I'm going to talk of how you can become a smart contract developer. So first, it depends on whether or not you already have some programming experience. If you know a bit of web development, uh, this is fine. But if you are a total newbie and you want to start your programming career by being a smart contract programmer, Actually, I don't really recommend this because programming in a smart contract is very, very different from other programming environment and it's going to give you a sort of weird reference experience. So if this is your case and you're a total newbie, you should first learn some web development, learn to do have some simple web, how to do some simple website, learn to uh, some, uh, some JavaScript, HTML, CSS. You don't need to become an expert, but you should be able to make some simple website. Once you have this, ex this experience, then you can think of becoming a smart contract developer. So the next question is which blockchain to choose because there are many different blockchains. You have Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, etc, etc, etc. So you need to focus on just one blockchain. If you start to learn all the blockchain at the same time, it's going to be very confusing. So I recommend you to focus on Ethereum, which is by far the most popular platform for blockchain development. All the other blockchain don't matter so much. Everybody is on Ethereum. All right, next you need to pick a programming language for smart contract. So on Ethereum, there are several programming language for smart contract. Uh, for example, you have Solidity, you have a Viper and you still have some others, but by far the most popular is Solidity. So I absolutely recommend you to pick that one. It's also going to be easier to find some learning resources. All right, so you want to learn Solidity. So next, you need to pick some tools to start your learning. So there is a very easy to, to use tool that is called Remix. That's an online IDE for Solidity on, or in other words, that's just a code editor. And it's extremely easy to use it. All you have to do is to go to your browser, go to the website of Remix you load it and boom, you can use it right away. And it also include a built-in blockchain for development so that you don't have any setup. You can start to code Solidity right away. So, I mean, that's by far the best tool. So next, how to learn Solidity? Well, actually I have a full series on Solidity on my channel. So you can check it out. It's very, very complete. I cover all the aspects of the language. So you'll follow this theory and then you'll start to learn the different features of Solidity. And at some point you'll be like, okay, well, I know how to do some smart contracts. So what is the next step? So next you need to learn how to test your smart contract. So why this is important? This is important because smart contract, once you deploy them to the blockchain, it's absolutely impossible to modify their code. It's very, very different from a normal website where you can just deploy it to AWS or Heroku and whatever you want, you make any change and, and boom, the code is updated. A smart contract is not like this. You deploy a smart contract and that's done. Its code is immutable. That's actually the whole point of the blockchain. So before before you deploy it to the blockchain, you absolutely need to make sure that there are no bugs because you won't be able to fix any after. So you need to learn how to test smart contract. Uh, I also have another video on smart contract testing. And so once you're good on Solidity and you also know how to test your smart contract, the next step is to learn a bit about smart contract security. So smart contract manipulate a lot of money because they are able to transfer Ether or ES20 tokens. So you really, really don't want your smart contract to be hacked by hackers because otherwise people are going to lose their money and it's going to be terrible. So if you want to avoid this, you can use some security tools like Misreal, who which will scan your smart contract before you deploy it. And if they detect any security vulnerability, uh, they will inform you and you'll be able to fix them. Uh, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't uh, understand yourself some, uh, some security vulnerabilities. You should also learn about the typical security vulnerabilities that exist uh, on, um, on, on Ethereum smart contract. So from there, you have a choice. Either you want to keep 
specializing in as a smart contract developer and you only want to do this, in which case uh, you might want to start to apply to a job and for example, you could find some companies that do a smart contract audit, for example, a Zeppelin solution, the company which is behind the, the open Zeppelin framework for Solidity uh, is one of their main activities, but you have other, other companies like also Truebit. Uh, be aware though that these guys will really grill you uh, on security. So you really have to be very, very knowledgeable about the smart contract security if you want to become specialized only in smart contract. However, most people don't do this. Most people, what they do once they know smart contract, the next step is to learn how to create a full decentralized application. And um, so a decentralized application, this is basically a smart contract, but that is also connected to a web front end or a, a, a mobile app so that end users can interact with your smart contract easily. Because otherwise, uh, if you just deploy a smart contract, the only way to interact with it is with the command line, with the CLI. And end users won't, won't use their CLI to use your smart contract. So you need to build this, uh, this nice uh, front end. So integrating a front end with a smart contract comes with its own set of challenges. Uh, in particular, you need to, uh, to master the, the Web3 library. By the way, I, I have a, a full series on Web3, so you can check it out. Uh, and yeah, so you can learn how to build front end and, and build full decentralized application. And once you have this skill, once you, once, once you can both do the, the smart contract and the front end, actually it'll be much easier to uh, to find a job as a as blockchain developer because many blockchain company requires you to do both the smart contract and also the integration uh with the front end by the way if you want to know what is the whole process of how you can become a blockchain developer and find your first blockchain job i've prepared a free training where i give you all my secrets what I use myself to get my first job in the industry. So it's totally free. Just follow the link in the description and register on my website and you get access to it. Do you have any question on how you can become a smart contract developer? If that's the case, ask your question in the comments down below. That's it for this video on how you can become a smart contract developer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for other videos on, on blockchain and Ethereum programming. Bye-bye.